I think uh, may I audible. Yes, sir. Good morning, yes, sir. Very good morning. Very good morning. Yes. Check whether P uh, my PPT is uh, visible to everyone. My PPT is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, concerning today's class, uh, uh, I request 10 people to join with us uh, till the end. I think uh, from uh, 51, that is number 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. You please unmute your mic and please join with us till then. Yes, what we have seen in the last slides, we, uh, we have seen uh, the uh, uh, programming. We, we were given the insight towards uh, programming, robot programming. Uh, in recent days, we are uh, uh, the robot programming uh, uh, or in the stage of uh, whale one, whale two. Uh, that we will discuss little little later. And we were introduced the basic concepts and basic ideologies uh, uh, which were used in the uh, some, uh, the the. Uh, past decades uh, were disseminated during the la uh, last class and uh, this is what uh, we have seen in the um, um, la last week we have see, uh, seen the uh, sensors and uh, transducers and the, we, we were uh, yet uh, entered into machination that we will see first and then once these uh, uh, sensors, sensors, transducers are over and uh, once the machine vision is over then we will uh, again we will uh, see what, wa what was there with uh, uh, robot programming and this is what uh, the piezo uh, in sensors uh, we have uh, seen till piezoelectric sensors this is what the piezoelectric sensors a material material can uh, um, uh, expand or it can shrinkage uh, uh, when we are applying with uh, some uh, uh, some sort of electrical sources uh, it can expand or it can uh, shrinkage uh, that type, uh, the, uh, the peculiar material like quads uh, can uh, shrink or it can compress uh, when we are applying the uh, electrical power and therefore the piezoelectric materials when uh, stretched or compressed generate electrical charge with one, one phase uh, to the uh, main edge reel becoming positively charged and the post opposite phase negatively charged. As a, as a result, a yeah, voltage is produced. This is what we were uh, uh, utilized in, in the sensors. And see, this is what the uh, mathematical relations uh, in piezoelectric sensors. Uh, e, that is E is equal to uh, G T F by A. The uh, F by A, you should be know already about, about uh, the uh, stress. The definition for first uh, stress is restoring, uh, uh, restoring force by area which bring back the material from the restore uh, uh, from the de deformed state into original state and uh, that is what uh, uh, e, uh, that that we can uh, take it as uh, pressure and uh, therefore the f by a can be converted into p here g t therefore uh, uh, g t a by uh, f by a becomes g t into p here G is in uh, voltage sensitivity that too with uh, uh, Vm in, uh, n and uh, here G, G is equal to K by T. Uh, K is an uh, piezoelectric constant, T is the thickness of the crystal. F is a uh, force in Newton, A is the area of the crystal in, uh, in meter square and uh, therefore the pressure becomes, uh, either we can call it as in pressure, here we need to call it as pressure. Uh, and uh, sometimes it, it might be called as uh, stress and uh, uh, usually it is in Newton per um, mm or uh, cm square here in Newton per meter square and this is what we have seen in the last class last week and uh, we were introduced uh, the applications and uh, advantage and limitations and now we'll, uh, we'll see uh, tactile sensors and uh, when we are aware about the piezoelectric behavior and it is very easy to understand uh, the happenings of uh, tactile sensors. It has two uh, PVDF layers, that is poly polyvinylidene fluoride layers separated by a soft film which transmit the vibration. And in order to transfer the vibration, we are uh, we are going to use the PVDF layers. 
and uh, that too with there are two different layers and alternating current is applied to the lower pvd uh, pvdf and uh, which is which generates vibration due to the reverse piezoelectric effect these vibration are transmitted to the upper uh, pvdf uh, layer which is uh, via the soft flame and uh, that is in soft flame between the pvdf two, two different pvdfs these vibrations cause alternating voltage across the upper pvdf layer and see this is what the tactile sensors when we are applying the force and we are applying the current here we have two different uh, pvd pvdfs and this is what the lower pvdf and this is what the upper pvdf and we have uh, we, these two uh, different pvdfs are uh, uh, differentiated or uh, distinguished and kept between the soft flame and the soft flame is uh, kept between two different uh, pvdf and this is what the initial position and the internal connections of uh, the tactile uh, switch and uh, and uh, the tactile switch connection when we are trying to uh, apply the force what happens uh, it uh, touches the these two uh, portions and it gives the connections see th this is what the mechanism behind the screen and uh, which is uh, the switch in non pressed mode and uh, the, there won't be any lighting at the led and when we are uh, when we are trying to make a connection over these two b and c the lv uh, we, we are trying to give the connection between these two and the as a result we are getting uh, uh, the connections with the led and uh, the second second uh, the uh, sensors which we are going to uh, see today is range range sensors and the function of range uh, sensor is to measure the distance from a reference point uh, and uh, 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 reference point in order to not to measure the distance uh, from particular point we are using these type of sensors and the, uh, there are three different uh, uh, range sensors are usually available one is triangular method triangulation method structured lighting approach and the third one is light of flight range finders and this is what the first one triangulation technique and uh, see and what here we have the source and deflector in order to find the objects what what we are going to give we are going to give an uh, uh, so uh, we are going to give uh, an eliminated uh, uh, the the object is eliminated by a narrow beam a narrow beam light is uh, given through the source and that was reflected through the deflector and uh, there are may, uh, there are some uh, beams left uh, and uh, we won't uh, uh, get any uh, information from those uh, 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 beams when we are getting when we are get uh, getting reflection over the uh, deflector through the deflector then we can recognize the object is available and this is what the technique is, uh, which uh, already we, we were studied during our school days uh, which is usually uh, we, we are using in ships ships and all not to find the um, uh, some portions or rocks or missed components uh, uh, we were used uh, these type of techniques in ship ship bundle we were used this type of uh, signals and uh, this was the triangulation technique that the object is uh, elimin eliminated by a narrow beam of light which is uh, swept over the surface the sweeping motion in the plane defined by the line uh, from the object to the to the detector and the line from the detector to the source see here if the detector is focused on small portion of the surface then when the detector sees the light spot here is when when the detector sees the light spot and some light sources are went away and that is not recognized by the source and when when the signals are received through uh, the source and uh, that is what d see here this is what the d and uh, uh, the horizontal distance between the deflector and source called b the inclination between the baseline and the source and the, the uh, is uh, nothing but uh, theta and uh, and with these uh, uh, three different parameters we can find we can uh, we can find the distance uh, we can measure the distance from the reference point and uh, the above method yields a point measurement and uh, if the source detector arrangement is moved in a fixed plane 
then it is possible to obtain a set of points whose distance from their detector are known. Uh, then these distances are easily transformed to three dimensional uh, coordinates by keeping track of the location and orientation of the de detector as objects are scanned. And uh, the second one is structure light approach. <clears throat> this approach consists of projecting a li light pattern onto a set of objects and using the distortion of the pattern to calculate the range. And uh, this was the structured lighting approach. We have a light source and TV camera and sheet of light is also given in the illustration. And specific range values are uh, computed by first calibrating system. The figures shows the arrangement. And in this method, the time of flight ranging consists of seeding a signals uh, from a transmitter that bounces ba bounce back you know, from an object and it uh, which is received by the receiver. The distance between the object and the sensor is half the distance traveled by the signal, which can be calculated by the measuring the time of flight, flight of the signal by, uh, by knowing its speed of travel. We uh, we were already know, uh, known, uh, the source are already known by us. That's what we, uh, we are uh, aware, well aware about the uh, source speed, signal speed. And based on that, uh, we can recognize the distance. The time of flight range finder uses lasers to determine the range and to measure the time, time which takes from an emitted pulse of light to return coaxially. This is what happening in the second type of uh, uh, structured lighting approach. Then the third one is time of uh, the, this was the time of flight and lapse time ranges. And see, uh, there are two different lines uh, in, uh, in, uh, not differentiate the uh, outgoing or the returning beam. Uh, we were using the continuous and uh, discontinuous lines. And uh, by this way, we are recognizing uh, the uh, distance, uh, distance from the reference point. And uh, see here, my mission uh, vision we are going to. See the machine vision and why the machine vision is very important. Uh, we'll see uh, the uh, the other names uh, of uh, machine vision are artificial vision, which is very important uh, important in sensor technology with the potential applications in many industrial uh, operations. Uh, many of the current applications of machine vision are uh, widely used in up, uh, inspection. Uh, still, uh, it is anticipated that vision technology will play an uh, increasingly, increasingly significant role in uh, uh, future of robot, robots. And uh, the vision system uh, designed to be utilized with the robot or manufacturing system, uh, which must meet two important criteria, which currently limit the influx of vision system. Uh, to the manufacturing community. The first of the, these criteria is the need for a relatively low cost vision system. The second criterion is the need for relatively rapid response time needed for robot or manufacturing uh, applications, which should be typically a fraction of second. There are two, uh, there are two uh, things we need to address. One, with low cost, uh, the machine vis vision system should be uh, available with low cost. Second thing, it has to respond uh, very quickly. That is the two things we need to be remembered during machine vision. That, that is what uh, uh, the future direction of machine vision. See, uh, we have the lighting image composition and we have image acquisition system. Then the uh, based on the image acquisition system, the images are processed. The uh, image feature extraction through the image feature extraction, uh, we are trying to get the information. See here, and in order to see uh, the machine vision, what we uh, will do, I'll uh, show some uh, uh, examples, I'll show some uh, papers, and I'll uh, show uh, my particular, my papers to uh, recognize this uh, machine vision uh, system. See, uh, what we uh, deal, uh, de uh, we are dealing with the uh, uh, various machines, right? See here, this is one among the paper. 
uh, uh, which deals about uh, the genetic algorithm and uh, artificial neural network. This is uh, once uh, you are uh, doing your PG, you will learn about the optimization technique and that too with uh, genetic and genetic algorithm and AN, that is art, artificial neural network and all you will uh, study during your uh, uh, PG. And uh, see here, there are uh, uh, we were tried to do the drilling with the milling, uh, mill, milling machine. That is a milling machine, that is vertical machining center. Vertical milling machine is used to do the uh, experiment. Uh, uh, my paper is visible to everyone? Or you yes. need to recognize yes. my papers? Yes, see, this is what uh, my uh, drilling portion, this is what my tool, and this is what the tool, this is what the work, 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 work piece. And what I did, I did uh, various uh, drill the holes. And what I am going to do, I am going to measure the roughness over this uh, drilled hole. What I need to do, I need to cut with the two different pieces, and then I need to measure the uh, uh, surface with the uh, transverse direction. Is it right? And what I did, I did uh, this was the machine which is used to do the uh, surface roughness. Surface roughness uh, uh, is an uh, uh, is an uh, quality characteristics and which we usually use to get the information about the surface surface characteristics and how it is smooth. When the amount of surface roughness is huge, then what it means? Uh, it uh, it has higher peak. Usually, what would be the surface roughness? What was the definition of surface roughness? The the average deviation from the datum would be the roughness. And when it has a larger amount, what happens? The roughness is more. Uh, then the quality of the component is minimal. Then what we need to do? Do we need to do the experiment? We need to get the. Uh, relation between these two references. See, this is what the CNC machine, uh, which is used, used to get uh, the uh, circularity and other uh, informations. Here, in this particular paper, this uh, uh, CNC, uh, CMM, that is coordinate measuring machine, used to uh, get the information about the roundness. See, see, these are the, this is the input parameter which we kept and uh, uh, we were used, uh, we were find various responses like drilling time, burr height in, in entry and exit portion, burr thickness in entry and exit portion, roundness and roughness. And what I am going to uh, give information and this is what we did and it was published in uh, uh, Surface Reviews and Letters. There is an article, there is a journal called Surface Reviews and Letters. And, uh, See, and what I did, I, if, uh, we did the, the mathematical modeling with the input and output parameters. And for that, what I, I have used, I have used uh, some uh, uh, machine vision system. Just a minute. See, I will show one uh, uh, picture which was taken uh, from the uh, white light interferometry and based on that you can recognize the machine vision. Yes, see here. Yes, this is what the three dimensional picture. A thin flim See here, a, a thin flim uh, uh, is used to uh, used to for uh, doing 
uh, this experiment uh, we were used uh, laser source in order to do this type of pattern this is what the picture which is taken from the uh, micro microscope that is that too with a very high magnification microscope uh, and the uh, thickness of uh, the thin film is used to uh, do this experiment is uh, uh, around 500 500 micrometer see five in 500 micrometer thickness thin film is used to do this experiment we, uh, in that thin film we were taken this portion this is what the portion which is removed through uh, some machining machine machining let it be uh, some machining and we have we were used laser source not to remove this material and what, what is the need to take uh, this uh, uh, material and all i'll uh, uh, i'll explain a little later and this is what analyzed with uh, the image processing technique and this was the figure see here with this figure what we can do we can find the depth see here we we can find the depth of this portion and what was the uh, length and width what is the surface roughness of, of this particular portion all all these parameters can be recognized by this particular machine is it so then therefore machines machine vision is very important in order to get these type of inf informations okay and i'll tell you uh, these type of uh, uh, the thin flames are used in uh, electronics industries uh, in order to get the connection in order to do the connections in the, uh, the panels and all electrical, electrical panels and all these type of uh, the thin flames are uh, used uh, this is what uh, uh, some other uh, research paper and uh, and uh, have you seen the pictures two different pictures which i have shown shown therefore the machine vision vision is very important i'll i'll tell you i'll show uh, some of uh, some of uh, my other paper Yes, see, this is uh, this is one uh, important paper which is published uh, in uh, published during February second, and see the experimental investigation of effect of independent parameters in phase milling of aluminium six zero A two alloy. This is an uh, experiment that that is phase milling experiment is experiment carried out in aluminium six zero A two. What I did, I did. Uh, um, milling by varying three different input parameters and i have uh, uh, there are three dip, different uh, responses i have co considered these are the three different input parameters considered for the experiment speed feed and depth of cut and i have considered three different responses one is machining time surface roughness and metal removal rate and i have uh, uh, generated the correlation between these two uh, responses see this is what the mathematical model derived through uh, the response surface methodology machining time uh, through the input parameters and i have uh, i have builded the mathematical modeling uh, I, I have obtained the machining time roughness and mrr if i know these uh, three equation and uh, there won't be any need to conduct experiment again and again i can feed my data into this equation instead n f and d i can give my speed feed and depth, depth of cut and i can get what what was the responses machining time and roughness and mrr if i have some mathematical model what i can do uh, without touching a material machine and uh, tool i can predict my responses and what would be the preferred roughness I can get by keeping these input parameters. I can predict. I can forecast. Is it so? That is what I did, and for that I have used various uh, machine vision, vision system. This is, see, this is what the uh, optical uh, microscope images of uh, lower, that is minimal surface roughness uh, uh, hole. Uh, sorry, uh, surface, and uh, this is what the picture of. Uh, optical microscope and see this is what the picture of uh, WLA and 
see some diamond pattern is shown in the higher roughness and i have taken wli that is white light interferometry pitches and similarly i have taken uh, other uh, that is minimum mrr and for maximum mrr and all i have taken various pitches and that was uh, published in reput reputed journal and this is what the wli of other uh, uh, input parameters and and therefore uh, we need to depend uh, the uh, machine vision system this is what the uh, machine vision used to get the quality characteristics but uh, our concern uh, our uh, uh, topic is restricted to have a control over the happenings of uh, uh, during during machining or during working how the machine vision system are used that is what our uh, our study and do you have any uh, clarification uh, clarification with that my, uh, my particular paper do you need any clarification do you need any clarification over, over uh, to my paper do you have any clarification no sir it's fine yes sir you can you can find my my papers in google also google also google scholar there is a space for google scholar and uh, uh, there are we have uh, uh, n number of papers uh, as we are nitians we have uh, various papers uh, and uh, very good uh, citation is also available i think uh, these uh, uh, vocabulary and all uh, you might not aware and uh, once you are working with various projects and all you may be well aware about uh, the papers patterns and uh, the citation and all will, uh, once you are in third year or finally you will aware about this vocabulary and just a minute i'll come come back इंफॉर्मेशन वी हेव समर मेशीन दट विल रेकग्नाइज वॉट इज है that is what machine system we have here we have main processor or a computer with image processing software and uh, i have shown uh, the uh, pictures in my paper that was uh, taken from uh, particular uh, uh, software and uh, gudian gudian is a software which is used, used to recognize the three dimensional picture and all that we we, we, we were uh, obtained through that software therefore that was given here image processing software and image processing hardware hardware is the camera will recognize and through that we are uh, capturing uh, the pictures and we are processing the pictures and based on the uh, information we are uh, we can act accordingly see some manufacturing process control system robot or plc etc and uh, uh, this is what three different uh, layers we have sensing and digital, digitalizing image data and image processing and analysis and uh, uh, application and uh, we have sensing and digitalizing image data and image processing and analysis and uh, uh, at the end we have applications over with these with these data we are going to apply with some other technique 
and what I did, I have taken various pictures, I have analyzed, and then I have published a paper. Based on that, uh, the industrial person can recognize and uh, they they can obtain the data from through that uh, paper papers. We can uh, apply for uh, for their specific application. They can get the information. That is what we are going to do with machine machine vision system. See here, uh, for uh, sensing and digitalizing image data, we have lighting camera. And the camera, what we are obtaining is converted into uh, the analog can be converted into digital. And we have frame grabber, and that was uh, that was uh, uh, fed into the processor. And uh, we have uh, the display unit and uh, keyboards and all we have. And we have some uh, uh, portions to save the data and uh, and all we have. We are doing processing, and uh, we, uh, we, uh, with probably with the computer or with the system we are doing so and with that uh, we are uh, we have interface so the class mode to bano and uh, so in order to do certain task or in order to perform some task or in order to do very uh, task we are uh, uh, depending the machine vision vision system and uh, and therefore uh, the machine vision can be defined as, as a mean of uh, simulating the image, images recognizing and analyzing capabilities of human system with uh, electronic and electromechanical techniques and therefore uh, robot robotic vision definition might be and uh, robot vision may be uh, defined as the process of extracting character style characterizing and interrupting information from image of the three dimensional board uh, it is called as computer vision and uh, uh, image processing versus image analysis image processing uh, there are uh, peculiar difference between image processing and image analysis Preparation of an image for for later analysis and use or image processing, but process by which a captured and processed image is analyzed to exact extract information about the content should be should be image analysis. Preparation of an image should be image processing, and uh, uh, getting the information from the captured image should be image analysis. There are two different uh, uh, measures would be uh, recognized. One is resolution and uh, quantization. Uh, the uh, resolution would be how often a signal is measured and read or sampled, and uh, higher number of uh, sam samples at equally spaced periodic time results in higher resolution. The resolution of an uh, analog signal is a function of sampling rate. The uh, resolution of a digital signal is a function of uh, pixels, and uh, the second one is quantization. Quantization refers to how accurately the values of signals at given point is converted to digital form, and uh, uh, this is a function of how how many bits are used to represent the digital magnitude of the sample signal. These are all the two important uh, information we need to uh, uh, conscious about the image processing and the image analysis. One is resolution, the other one is quantization. And uh, uh, the machine vision, that is computer vision or art artificial vision, would be uh, uh, would be the capability of the computer to perceive the environment. Uh, one or more video cameras are used to convert the signals analog into digital, and uh, now to perform the uh, pro processing over that di digital signals. A machine vision system uses sensors in robot. For viewing and recognizing an object with the help of computer, and uh, therefore, uh, based on uh, automated imaging association, the machine vision encompasses encompasses all industrial and non-industrial application in which a combination of hardware and software provide operational guidance to devices in the execution of three functions based on the capture and processing of images. You can see here some uh, functions. And hardware and typical uh, techniques uh, used in machine visions are given in a detailed way, and uh, we are using camera, 
and uh, which is used to convert uh, the, from that we are getting the information we are getting the pictures and the analog or convert into digital and we have frame we have grab up and uh, that was given as an information to the computer or a processor and we have various other accessories with the processor and then the uh, we are converting uh, the various information and through that we are performing some task and we have that was connect, connected with the robot and robot do uh, some operation and sensing and digitalizing the image data and we have certain informations and uh, in order to do the image processing analysis and data and the, the data reduction and segmentation feature extraction object recognition and uh, the uh, some uh, algorithm or used to do so and not to do inspection identification and visual uh, serv uh, serving and to not navigate at all we are using the machine vision system and uh, the operation of the machine uh, vision system consists of three functions sensing and digitalizing image data image processing and analysis and applications see and distort input image or convert it into image segmentation and uh, with filtration we are doing the quality improvement over the images and then uh, hole filling noise removing target detection and uh, region uh, description the, the target center portion see this uh, see some uh, typical examples of uh, the image processing analysis algorithm this is what we are doing with the image processing and accuracy of images and uh, there are two different cameras uh, either it would be analog or digital and analog camera is not very common uh, uh, common anymore but are still around uh, the world we are using they used to be standard at television stations and uh, digital cameras uh, are now widely used uh, uh, camera is a digital camera and uh, a video camera is a digital camera Uh, with an uh, added uh, video tape recording and all we are using the digital camera and lighting techniques an essential ingredient in the application of uh, uh, machine vision is proper lighting diffusion surface division devices condenser projector and uh, flat spot projector collimators and Im images and all we are using lighting techniques image processing and analysis three th there are there are various techniques to reduce the Uh, magnitude of the image processing problem, and uh, that too with the image data reduction, segmentation, feature extraction, and the object recognition. This is what we we were uh, detailed with uh, this picture. See, this is what one particular uh, image which details everything. We have we are going to do with the data reduction. There are various images are available. We need to identify the appropriate Im images through through data reduction. We can do that. and segmentation threshold thresholding region roving and edge detection and this is what uh, given here segmentation feature feature extraction and object recognition when these are over we can recognize the object and robot applications robot application machine vision fall into three broad categories one is for inspection identification visual survey uh, serving and navigation see this is also we were given in this uh, picture it was already given and that's all about uh, the machine vision and uh, sensor and uh, transmission do you have any uh, clarification with the uh, the machine vision system and the sensors and transducers do you have any clarification with these uh, sensors sensors and transducers and machine vision system any doubts we'll uh, wind up our session with uh, the current affair anyone anyone unmute your mic and tell me the current affairs yes the session is open to uh, uh, you all unmute your mic and tell me sir, your current sir. current affairs yes yes sir in tamil nadu 
9th 10th 11th 11th uh, people uh, got holidays it's echoing sir my oh here there won't be any issue yes absolutely is a, the number of cases are uh, increasing day by day the covid cases are increasing and that too uh, we have uh, district uh, very near to uh, as is tanjavur there are, uh, there are uh, 75 or 80 cases identified yesterday and uh, uh, before that itself the government announces leave for uh, these people that is 9th 10th and 11th any any other any other the four, four or five states all in news one one all in news like two years back in yes sir uh, pakistan pm imran khan got tested for first time two days after taking chinese vaccination after taking chinese vaccination uh, what happened Uh, two days after taking the chinese vaccination he tested positive for corona virus oh, 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 oh. it is unfortunate it, uh, it is unfortunate have you heard about uh, the uh, the percentage of uh, recovering people of co vaccin and covid shield how reliable how uh, at what percentage it is reliable co vaccin covid shield sir so some of them uh, they are like telling covaxin is 80% and covid shield is 73% 73 and 80 it was 80 no. before sir but now uh, two doctors i saw sir their videos it came down to 73 it it get down get down into 73 percentage covid shield yes 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 is already already the vaccine uh, vaccination program were uh, widely uh, spread across the country and even in uh, uh, the hometown which is uh, uh, that is in trichy also uh, there are uh, even uh, covid shield and uh, covaxin also available but the thing is we need to be very uh, aware that uh, the first dose has to be in covid shield bin the second dose must must be from the same covid shield and we won't uh, uh, merge during uh, the first and uh, second uh, uh, phase and we need take the uniform okay, either we need we need take covid shield or covaxin and uh, 60 plus uh, uh, already going 45 plus from uh, for uh, constraints uh, those who are having some constraint and all we can get the um, uh, 45 plus people that is age 45 uh, 45 plus people can take and similarly Uh, uh, what was the cost? Uh, anyone aware about the cost of uh, Covax and Covisil? Covisil is two fifty rupees per dose. Okay, okay. Covax and that is that is also might be two fifty. Around two fifty. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, Chitesh. Uh, Chitesh, uh, it is feasible to convert the afternoon uh, session into uh, four hundred. Uh, Chitesh, I think uh, uh, Tuesday three three or three to three fifty you are uh, given. Is it right? Yes, sir. Uh, is it okay if you if if you if you can take uh, Friday first floor, sir? Friday first, okay. Then we uh, confirm with that uh, Friday first. Okay, sir. Okay. Friday first. Then, yes, uh, Friday first is nine nine thirty or ten thirty. Nine thirty, sir. Nine thirty. Okay, it is okay, and uh, you can make arrangement for the tomorrow three to three thirty. You can uh, request some other to take uh, that session. Okay, sir. Okay. If you don't have any 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 other doubts.